Okay. You are chilling downstairs with a glass of... Are you still not drinking? Uh, yeah, I'm not drinking. Okay. The glass of apple juice kind of, you know, perusing things. Pre sharpening your sword, sharpening your daggers, your knives. Yeah. You know, making sure everything's in pristine condition. When... Uh, you feel a a knife come from behind you up to your throat. Okay, now I'm going to use my charisma. <laughs> you ready for this? I'm ready for it. I'm going to say... Now hold on there. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't you go doing something you'll regret. The voice whispers quietly, and you can tell it's female. And Elvin, where are the others? Um, I reply, still using that charisma. Doing what most people do late at night. They're sleeping. Why don't you and I talk this out? What rooms are they in? I, I say they are in the... The parade tower room D25 and D26. Are you actually giving the tech the root names of the rooms? Or are you like sparting a jump jumble? Yeah, I totally made that up. Uh, no, I, I give them the real rooms. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah, you expected a lot more difficulty there, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hear the voice says, "Thank you," and the knife pulls away, and you feel a blunt strike to the back of your head and I need you uh, wait, where is it where is it, where is it? I need you to make a uh, saving throw versus paralyzation so roll a, a d20 and roll 14 or higher so d20 yep. 14 or higher <laughs> we rolled a 4 all, right. a four. all unconscious <laughs> Okay. Um, the rest of you guys are asleep. And since I have So. Okay. Abigail, you are the next. You are woken when. I mean, you wake up to a knife being pressed to your throat again. Oh, no. Come on. Under the door. <laughs> nope. You did not wake up when they came in. Fine. Uh. So, again, I see what's up. She screams us. You scream what's no, no, up? No, I don't scream it. I just say what's up. <laughs> That's the elf back to you. Huh? Where's the sword? Oh, so that's what you want. I say, you should tell me more explanation if you want some answers. Where's the sword? I'm not the one who has it. You should go check out my, my no, friend's I'm rooms. Which friend? Huh? Which friend? I think... I think Vincent has it. I've already checked Vincent. Oh. He's not going to be a problem anymore. Now, if you want to still be around in the morning, you need to tell me where the sword is. I guess Tadigab has it. Okay. You get smacked in the face, but you don't actually get hit hard enough to fall unconscious. You take <laughs> That's awkward. Some temporary. Yeah, it's just like a crack. Whoops. And then she Tip goes. Bon chop. Why aren't you asleep? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did you do that? You you actually have another a moment to react before she gets her second attack. Do you want to do anything? Oh, she doesn't think it was like knocked unconscious. Is that no, something? She, in the face. she dagger whipped you. Okay. A scream. Uh, you have a round here, Jen. What do you yeah. do? <clears throat> uh, I, I guess I'll I'll scream. <laughs> I'll scream what's up because I think Ryan knows what that means. <laughs> you scream what's up? Uh, I scream! I scream uh, I scream Ryan. Uh, I mean... I mean... Bregor. Yeah, I scream like, guys, help. Okay. I, I say stranger danger or something. 
<laughs> so she changed it from trying to beat you with the pummel. She flips the dagger around and tries to stab you in the chest with it. But can I stab her as well? Like, is that a thing? You said or? you were screaming this round. Yeah, that was your but round. Like, you screamed. Can't you scream and do something? Like, people can do two things at once, no? Perhaps, but when I asked what you wanted to do, you okay, said fine, you Okay, fine, I'll just, I'll just scream and not move because I'm a really dumb person for some reason. <laughs> well, I, said, people I, her. Her. I scream and then you were quiet. I mean, that's a universal right, sign for my right, right, stuff. Right. She stabs you. Right. For three damage. You are actually unconscious now. Not not like bleeding to your death, but you'll you'll wake up in a bit. But you're unconscious. Alright. Okay. Um Bregor, you definitely woke up and Tudaga, was... you also woke up. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> so I wanna know, did she actually scream what's up like like in the in the last time? Yeah. No. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Because I thought he would know what that means now. <laughs> so I, <clears throat> I wake up to what's up, having flashbacks from the inn in the last city we were in. Mm -hmm. So my mind instantly goes back to the thief uh, that, that broke in to the last, last uh, city we were at. So I wake up, and I quickly get dressed in my armor, and uh, I get my sword, my, my regular long sword, and I put the magical sword under my mattress. Okay. And I, and I get ready to uh, go outside towards the screams. Okay. Um, so you, while you're doing this, uh, JP, what are you doing? So I, I... Do I recognize... I'm trying to remember. I, I didn't hear her scream, what's up, when we were in no, the other town, right? No, this is news to you. You're just woken up by a crazy scream in the morning. Well, in the middle of the night. Actually, do you think it sounded like the goat? <laughs> <laughs> Would it be like, if it did, if it did, I'm like, oh, that hobgoblin's back in town. <laughs> um, I'm trying to... So she's across the hall from me. Abigail is. That's how I can yeah. hear it. Yeah. Um... Is the, and is my I guess my door's locked and everything, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's so hard not to metagame this to like know that so and so's <laughs> being <laughs> Jeff's watching the goat. <laughs> it's so hard not to metagame this. Um Yeah, it's I I guess I'll, what I'll do is I'll just say like I guess I'll just say, like, uh, well, that, that must have been Abigail. Maybe I'll go check on her. So uh, I'm going to walk towards the door. Like, I'm... Uh, okay. Uh, completely naked? Yeah, 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 that's fine. Okay. Well, pink so boots, you, but that's it. Well, of course, the boots, the pink boots. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You put your hand on the door and open it, and you see a black-robed figure, like, shutting Jen's door quality and then turning to, like, uh-oh, there's someone there. Now, the next question is, did I memorize those spells that I sent you, or no? You, whatever you had memorized from the previous day, you still have memorized. Like, you have to... You okay, have so I, I still have two of them. Okay, cool. Right. Um, so I'm immediately going to scream, uh, Breger, get over here, and cast Command. Can I do that? Can I do... Sure. Okay. And I'm just going to say... I'm just going to say that. Well, I mean, you can just say that aloud. Okay, I'm just going to say command die. Okay, so you command her to die. Um, yeah. And she just kind of uh, falls unconscious to the floor. Ryan, you have one minute. Get over here. we got to tie her up or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you do while Ryan is, like, getting... I immediately, I immediately go grab my bed sheets and start tying things together so I can tie this person down to the ground. Or tie it to something so she can't get loose. And I'm still screaming, Ryan, 45 seconds, where are you? Ryan, what do you do? Uh, so as soon as I hear the scream, am I fully dressed and armored? And no, shit? like you're starting to get dressed <clears throat> when you hear okay. JP say all this stuff. Okay, so in the middle of, of whatever I'm doing... 30 I, seconds, I just, Ryan. <laughs> I grab my sword, I run out the door, mm -hmm. and I, I see this, this lady, you know, the elf from before on the ground. Mm -hmm. And I, 
and I attempt to um, severely wound. Actually, I attempt to. Uh, Fifteen seconds, chop Ryan. Chop her leg off at the ankle. You try and chop her leg off, dude. Yeah, my sword. It's my future wife. You're messing up, there, man. <laughs> okay. Um, roll d twenty. Plus, you roll a normal attack roll. What are your bonuses to hit with the long sword? Plus two. So d20 plus two plus another two for her being on okay, the ground. D20 plus four. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Hey Ryan, you're really fucking this up, man. <laughs> well, let me grab a book. Uh, all right. So I need you to roll. We're gonna use the critical hit table here to see if you have actually hacked off an ankle or something. Um, you to do to do to equal roll two d four. Okay. And high is good in this case. Hey Ryan, I think she's Five. waking up. Five. Five. <laughs> okay, you do not hack off her leg at all, but roll your normal damage. So d eight plus zero, I guess. Uh, three. Okay. So you'd end up just doing three damage to her on the leg. Were you trying to chop her foot off, Brigger? So she can't run, bro. <laughs> but I was tired. What? God damn it, dude. <laughs> dude, last time we fought her, I was around her. All right, all right, all right. She's going to wake up soon. We got to do something. We got to do something. <laughs> no, she wakes up from being chopped in the ankles. <laughs> I, I guess I'm fucking... Well, fuck it. I just grab my maul and get ready to attack. Okay, go, JP. Rolling God. d20? Yeah, d20. Roll 15. 15. That's a hit. Is roll it 2d4 for damage. 2d4? Mm-hmm. I roll 6. And this is... Uh, I'm not aiming for the leg, Gregor. I'm going straight for the head. Yeah. You, yeah. you crack her upside the head... She's on the floor, so her body spins like a top for a moment. <laughs> like, quarter turn here. Just, and she is stunned a little bit. Um, she pulls out her short sword and just kind of stabs wildly at the closest person, which is oh, Gregor. Oh. Gregor, Gregor, B. Um, Levin, you're not wearing any armor, are you? Nope. And in my jammies. Yeah, he already had damage. But you do have high dexterity, so she misses you. You you dodge out of the way just as the stab comes in and cuts open your jammies a little bit. You need some <laughs> new elven boxers. All right. Kind of <clears throat> now. Um, so, Gregor's turn. Uh, yeah, I, I attempt to disarm that sword that she has. Okay. How so you go you're going to make huh? an attack against her weapon. So do a roll to hit. Okay. Just a regular d20? Uh, d20 plus 2. A 13? 13. Okay. You, you hit her sword, but you don't knock it out of her hand. Okay. So my turn? Yeah. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just fall on top of her. <laughs> I'm just going to say, like, fuck it and just jump up jump and up fall there. right on top of her. Okay. She tries to whip her sword around and poke it straight up. And she does. Mm, but fuck. she doesn't get it directly under you. So it's not like a killing move here. Um, but she does three damage to you to you on the side as you like slide against the, the sword. Okay, so I, I'm not. She's not stuck underneath me then, huh? No, she is stuck underneath of you, but her okay. sword isn't like jammed up through you. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's um, good. Her sword arm is still free though, so she can wave it about and keep hacking at things blindly. Sure. Ryan, it's Wait, so is, is her sword through JP right now, though? No, 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 no. Like, she tried to bring it up, but she didn't, like... So she's got the sword, and it was on her side. So yeah, as yeah. JP falls, she tries to bring it up, but it doesn't happen, so she winds up, like, slashing. Uh, a slice, I see. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. 
turn break. Uh, no, it's her turn. She tries to stab or hack at JP. And she success. Wow. Oh, yeah. fuck. JP dies. Yeah, no, she gets like a good hack at you, but short swords are not meant for hacking. They're meant for stabbing, so the damage is much less than it would normally be. But you still take five points of damage, which puts you unconscious. Yeah, I'm dead. So she's got a fucking. At eight. least he's on top of her, right? <laughs> he's on top of her all this weight, though. That's a good thing. There's no way this stuff's moving. And I'm <laughs> naked, just to keep in mind. Okay, so here's what I do during my turn. I, 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 See what she's got a, a short sword, right? Yeah. So I, I take a few steps back, or a step back, whatever. And so I'm at the max length of my, my long sword. Mm hmm. And I and I try to cut her sword hand off. <laughs> God, you're like saw, man. With yeah, this is body. fucked up. Man. I'm standing back, like far away. I Let's play a little game. D twenty plus five. D twenty plus five, right? Yeah. Oh my God, this is so violent, though. <laughs> plus four. I dream of violent things. Plus four. Plus four. Right. You said? Okay. Yeah. Is it four or five? Four. Oh. A, set, a seven. You, you don't even hit her. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, sure. She continues to flail wildly, not knowing that JP's unconscious, and misses him, with, or doesn't hit him hard enough to do any damage this time. Um, JP, you're slowly bleeding out. Right now, you're at zero. If you get to negative ten, you're actually dead. That's right. how we're doing this. So, right now, you're at negative one. Vincent, you have woken up. Your head hurts like a motherfucker. It's so yeah. bad. So I'm like Bruce Willis at this point. <laughs> yeah, Bruce Willis in the middle of Die Hard. Not quite at yeah. the end, but in the middle. Die I'm at the end of Die say. Hard. <laughs> yeah, your Die Hard. Uh, he doesn't well, end much. Clearly, your Die Hard three after he jumps, uh, after he slides down onto the ship. Okay. You know? um, I remember telling her that where the rooms were, so I'm going to start running in that direction. Yeah, and you hear shouts and bangings yeah. of. Yeah. And failing. <laughs> okay, you are in your full armor. You run up there. You see Tudagub, clearly unconscious, blood pouring out of him onto the ground. These On the girl. Out from underneath him and a sword flailing around. Yep. While Gregor in his broken elven boxers with his junk flapping about tries to hack her arm mm -hmm. off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Upon seeing this situation... I'm going to go on to like a side guard on her flailing arm, and I'm going to use my whole body to hold her arm down, and then I'm going to position my sword over this part of her wrist, like right between. Wait, and then how, I'm going to use like a spade, and I'm going to step on the top of the hilt into her hand. Wait, what, what is the first part of that? You said you go into a side guard? Yeah, she's laying on the ground with a gigantic fat blob on top of her. <laughs> She's got her arm flailing around. I'm going to come up to the side on that arm, wrestle it like a snake. Okay. Hold it down, put the sword against her wrist, and then like a spade, I'm going to push with my foot on the top of the hilt through the ground, pinning her like a fucking bug. Okay. So you like try and step on her sword arm to get it in place so you can stab through it, basically. Sure. I mean, because you this how else, how do you plan on wrestling yeah, it? That part? sounds good. Yeah. Okay, um, she f is wildly flailing. Jeffy does end up nicking you. No, you're in armor. No, that's not gonna hit. No, 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 no. Short sword would not go that. It's fine. She it bounces off your armor, no problem. I need you to to make a, a basic attack roll, just a d20, yep. no bonuses. Sixteen. Ooh. Oh yeah, you totally step on her arm and pin it down. Yeah. And then you you say you put your your sword through her hand or her wrist? Right through the wrist. And then I step on the top of my sword hilt like a spade. And it just goes right through her arm into the floor. Yeah. Um, you... Okay, You. yeah. You have pinned her arm through the wrist to the floor using your long sword. <laughs> um, roll... Well, let me for damage here. Yeah, blood starts oozing out. I would imagine so. In wild pain. <clears throat> Over her shrieks, I shout, Abigail, start patching up. 
the gigantic ogre friend. Tug a butt. Abigail's unconscious. I'm unconscious. God damn it. Uh, Ryan and I are here now, right? Or right. Bregor. Right. I say, Bregor, I got this. Start taking care of our friend. Okay. <clears throat> so, did, uh... When he stabbed her, uh, she, did she drop the sword? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, I mean, when this has happened before, JP has just healed somebody. What, what can we do? So, you can... What you would want to do is take some cloth or something and, like, bind his wounds closed... Okay. Just basically stop the bleeding. Be, you know, super basic gotcha. first aid. Okay, stop. so <clears throat> I run into my room, and I rip the sheets off of my bed. Mm -hmm. And I rip them into little tourniquets, and I start patching up. Well, it's against his, like, side, you know? He got, like, hacked in his... Okay. His abdomen. Um, Jiggles too much. That means we're going to have to deal with this girl before we... We really like wrap him up. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm just I would I would assume that you're like removing him from her and. Okay, um, so you've got her pinned down. I've I've actually got like 15 strength. Can I try to lift JP's lifeless body up? No. No. You can roll him off her, but you cannot lift him up. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay the little uh, strips that I made down on the floor and try and roll JP onto them. Okay, you roll him off of her onto him, or onto, onto the, them. Yeah, yeah, onto the strips. Uh, and she goes free, and she with her free hand reaches for the sword to pull it off. But that's a retarded thing to do because it's a sword, and she cuts her hand further on it. <laughs> <laughs> But, All I mean, right. what else are you going to do? There's a the yeah. sword in your arm. Are going to, I mean, yeah. So, Ryan's, or, uh, excuse me, Bregor's doing that. I pull out, like, the sword's impaled her arm into the ground, so I'm fine with that. I pull out one of my daggers, mm -hmm. and I position it over the top of her forehead, and I make, like, a this kind of thing. Yeah. And I say, you're not leaving with your arm, but you can leave with your life if you surrender and start talking. She says, I yield, I yield. I stop with the motion of trying to thumbtack her head. Um, I then say, one minute while my friend works on the, the person you nearly killed. And I still stand over her. And at this point, you can it's pretty glorious that I'm standing over her, too. This is like... She's looking <laughs> up at a good-looking guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> With okay. her arm impaled. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but at that time it's endearing. You know what I mean? Like, it could have been worse. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> I have some questions about your character's upbringing, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> all in your time. Okay, so I'm. I guess it goes to Bregor's turn now, and he's. Is there more? Yeah, that I he mean, can... Bregor's like patching up Tudagub. Yeah, I continue um, doing that. <clears throat> okay, so, I mean, Jen, you wake up. <laughs> all right. So, what do you guys want to do? Well, I, I get conscious. out of my room and I see all that. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, there she is. <laughs> and then I'm like, did she talk yet? All right. So I say, uh, please help Bregor. Uh, we got to get our friend tug -a butt back up and going. Uh, I got her. Yeah, under control. So, do you do that or no? You want me to help him? Yeah. I mean, do you not want to get this girl talking? Like, check check up on her. Make sure she doesn't have, like, any more weapons hidden on her. Or, or take the gold. I give Ryan a look that's like, son of a bitch. I and I'll, just go got help. I'll go help. I'll go help. I'll go help. I speak and do an action this time. I speak and do an action. <laughs> well done. Okay, yeah. so you guys patch up Tudagub um, <clears throat> in due time. People come out of their doors, of course, because you've quarter-crucified a person to the floor. Um, and they go, what the shit is going on? The dwarves That's come out, unconscious, and go, oh no! 
I say everyone back inside. There was an assassination attempt, and as you can see, we've uh, we have no need for any hand here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so some people, some people run downstairs in terror. Um, some people go back in the room. Some people just like peer out of the, you know, the doors, looking at you guys. Okay, so they're they're helping out Tugabut. Uh, they're patching him up, trying to revive him, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I am sifting through her. She said she's yielded, so I'm explaining to her that I'm going to take out the weapons or anything dangerous from her. Uh, I'm not looking to kill her. Can I pat you down with the back of my hand? Pretty much. <laughs> well, I'm just... I'm removing the mask. I'm checking yeah. her boots for blades. You know, all that kind of shit. Smoke bombs. That little messenger bag has been kicked away. There's no smoke bombing going on here. Yeah, it was... <laughs> It's an airplane security joke. It's fine. Oh. I don't <laughs> run in those circles, sir. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you, you pat her down. You take away all of her weapons and everything. Yep. And yeah. uh, then I look at her and I... Well, I, I say to her, I'm going to remove the sword from her hand now. Does she give me her word that she will be our captor until we decide what to do with her and I tell her that I'll do everything in my power to release her your captor safely. Your captive. Captive. Yeah. Um yeah, she says yes, yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> She's lost a lot of blood and is looking pretty woozy. Yep. So I this is actually where it gets pretty good. So what I do then is I tear off <laughs> her pants <laughs> and I use that to create the tourniquet. So that the blood the blood stops and I cover the wound. Mm -hmm. After I pull my long sword out of her hand, obviously, and then I prop her up against the wall, and uh, just kind of keep a close eye on her. You take off her pants, like below the knees. It's tasteful. It's not anything gross. <laughs> oh, so you, wait, you cut off the pants? Yeah, I ripped. No, I ripped them off. I'm fucking ripped, man. I just <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's you ripped off. off her pants like you took yeah. her pants all the way off. No, not a. There's nothing gross happening here. I didn't say there was. I was just trying to figure out what just you were get doing. Get your mind out of the gutter, Neil. All right. <laughs> no, there'll, be a time, there'll be a time and a place for that later. You didn't right get now. twisted. So you rip off parts of her pants is the way yeah. a normal person would have phrased that. She's wearing like tasteful booty shorts now. Okay. And uh, I use that to stop the bleeding. Okay. You, you patch her up. You rip your sword out of her hand. She grabs her hands and. You know, in great deals of pain. Yeah. Yeah, but does not run. What did I find on her, by the way, weapon-wise? Because it's probably some pretty cool shit. She had a long sword, a short bow, um, two daggers, 15 little darts that she throws, um, and some bags with a bunch of crap. And by crap, I mean cool stuff. Okay, to be in... I mean, to be looked at later, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I mean, uh, does someone else do a turn now or something? Someone want to do something, anyone? Well, did you finish patching up JP? <laughs> like, can I do something else? You've patched JP up. Am All I right. awake yet? So I no. go back to Vincent and I say... Okay. I go back to Vincent and I say, She seems like a better thief than me. I should take some of her stuff. <laughs> Was there more smoke bombs? I'd love one of those. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's got a bunch of the smoke bombs. She's got a really nice set of lock-picking things. She's got some yeah. small amounts of jewelry on her. She's got, like, some chalks, some candle wax. Uh, so I look at Abigail and I say, Abigail, we'll, we'll work on that stuff in a little bit. All let's, right, all right. Let's get her into the bedroom. So we, I'm going to carry her into the bedroom. And everyone follows me, and I'm assuming, is JP at, like, one health now or something? No. No, he's, I like, he's been... The bleeding has been stopped at negative three. You need, like, a healer to come and actually heal him to get him back. Okay. Up. Like, he's based right. practically dead, you know. All right. So I say, Bregor, you should stay here and help me interrogate her. Abigail, I need you to find a healer and uh, get them there, get them here ASAP so we don't lose JP on episode two of this fucking show. <laughs> and I say, I'd love to stay and for him to go because she's the one who tried to kill me twice. I give Ryan this look of, like, 
<laughs> I can't believe that I have to explain this to her. Then I look at her and I say, he's really charismatic, and you can't hit the side of a barn. I need you to go. Fine, fine. I'll go. Very good. Okay. Then I go. So, for my turn, um, I agree with Vincent that we need to take her into the bedroom. So, uh, I take a couple of the, the strips that I use for t uh, patching up JP, a couple of the leftover ones. And I tie the thief's um, legs together and her arms together. Okay. Okay, so we bring her into the room. Um, I explain to her... Hog-tied her to a bed. Yeah. Hog-tied to a bed, tasteful booty shorts, one of her hands not really working very good. Okay. Um, and I say to her, I need you to understand that you could leave here alive but it's going to take you giving us everything you got. Otherwise, I am going to remove your head from your shoulders with my hands. 